supposed to stay here and some guy is doing all this around his groin area. Nobody, come on. Come on, that's not comfortable. But are you willing to do that? Or are you a real man? Ah, I'll fight my way out of it. No, I'll squeeze my way out of it. To another level. Pastor David here got another video for you. To, hey, hey, I have another video. What the hell does that mean? That means you gotta pay attention. All the time, people, watch where you are. Watch your surroundings. The world is crazy, so pay attention. Don't get caught by surprise. Don't ever let nobody sneak up on you. Pay attention. Now, got another video for you today, headline. I'm gonna show you some stuff you can work off of a headline. Kenny, come in here, Kenny. Now, guys, you should feel it coming on. So if you're walking and some guy try to throw a headlock on you, just slip your body out. Learn when you feel it, you're gonna look anyway, you're not gonna do this. If somebody put a headlock on you, Kenny, mm -hmm. if I'm throwing my arm around your neck like this, so but no, slow down. Mm -hmm. I want you to stop and look that way. Does that feel right? No, hell no, it don't feel right. You want to look at the person it's who's headlocking, right? right? Exactly. So if I'm doing this, you're not going to do that. You're going to look at me. Exactly. So if you look at me, turn your body and slide out. So this is what I'm saying. So I'm talking about body mechanics. I'm not trying you to do some technique. I'm trying to do what your body feels comfortable doing. Your body feels comfortable looking at the man like, hey, who is this? So before he gets to jerk you down, he's gonna jerk you down. Your headlock motion is not up, right? Nope. When you do a headlock, you wanna bring the band down, turn your body. And when you turn your body, does it make a difference if I do this? Watch what I'm saying, stay there, don't move. Watch what I'm saying, watch it from this side. Does it, what's the difference between me looking at him and turning my butt all the way around or looking at him and going back. Is there a difference? Absolutely. What's the best way to do it? Depending on the situation. If I go back, he might have boys behind him that I didn't see. One knucklehead said, yo, you go, 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 hey, lock it. So he got boys behind him and one guy came up behind you I did this, but you didn't know no. I had two more boys behind me because you can't see behind your head. So, but if he had boys behind me, behind him, and I do this, I'm able to spot the people behind me that I know now they're with you. So now when I slip, I attack your joints, I'm dealing with them. You here, you here, and I'm out. Or or same technique, now watch. I'm gonna grab hold of the hand. So now when he does this, my, my hand grabs hold of his arm, my other arm presses him right to the ground. Let me show you that again in case you didn't get that. Come over here. He headlocks me. I turn in, I grab with my left, my right hand goes on top, and I take him down. Kenny does not have a choice to resist this. Because if he resists this, I'm going to punish him. I'm going to punish him. Because the flow is too smooth. From this to this. Any resistance, I got his legs, he's still going down. I will punish him. I'm trying not to get fancy. Because I could get fancy and put five strikes before I even touch that leg. I could add five more strikes before I even touch that leg. I'm trying to keep it straightforward. Another way is if you mess up now and you forgot to do this, then the simple thing is he's headlocking, bring your hand over the top. Bring your hand from the back. Your hand is in the back, over the top. 
across his face. Now, yank up, you attack the throat, the breathing. Instantly attack the breathing. Half hand, C cup into the breathing, and attack the breathing again. Breathing and groin, breathing. Those two shots, those two shots, he will, he don't know to grab his throat or to grab his groin. And then you can see what you got to work with and work with it. Now, he goes a little further. So now he puts me in the headlock. And now here's what happened. My body happened to, because of the force, come back here. Because of the force of the headlock, right, I stumble forward. So he headlocks me and I move forward. Now, Kenny cannot headlock me from this position. Nope. He does not feel comfortable. No. He has to reposition himself, and that's when I attack the joint and take him down. He has to reposition himself. Have to. No one feels comfortable doing a headlock like this. They want to bring it in to have that leverage. Now, let's say they get that leverage. So do it, Kenny, and get the leverage. Now, before he starts punching you in your face, which he wants to do, or he's going to take you down to the ground, right? Before. Now, grapplers, we know, and wrestlers know what to do from here. You cross the leg, you fall down, you grab him, and you roll him over, and you start to grapple. But if you're not a grappler, and you're not athletic, and you don't have those kind of abilities. Put the headlock on, Kenny. Punch me in my face. Just tuck your head. Tuck, watch. Tuck your head into his body and grab his groin. Take this hand and squeeze his nuts until like jello, until the, start wiggling through your fingers. Like this. And slide your head out. Just squeeze. See, I'm grabbing the inside of Kenny's leg. And he don't, do you like the way that feel? Nope. See, yes, he's going to be punching you in your head. He's going to be punching you in your head. You duck your head in. But I'm going for his groin. I'm going to go underneath and grab his groin. Grab his groin. Slide out, stretch the leg out. I'm going to grab it and pull out. And then I'm going to punish him. I'm going to hold that leg up. I'm going to punish him here. I'm going to put my foot in his groin. I'm going to stomp on his spine. I'm going to stomp on his ankles. And then I'm going to stomp on his head. You understand? Guys, you have to be willing. No such thing as effortless self-defense. No such thing as you're not going to take a blow. He tries to punch you in your face. Don't pull your face away. Stick your face right into his skin and go for the groin. If you don't have athletic ability to do all that wrestling moves, go for the groin with the left hand or the right. Once a man starts to see you digging for his groin, he's going to let that headlock go. He's going to let it go. No one wants to put a headlock on again. Put the headlock on. No one wants to, no one wants to stay here and some guy is doing all this around his groin area. Nope. Nobody, come on. Nope. Come on, that's not comfortable. But are you willing to do that? Or are you a real man? Nah, I'll fight my way out of it. No, I'll squeeze my way out of it. Guys, keep it real with yourself. Help us grow this channel. We are out here doing this for you. I'm not out here trying to impress you with a bunch of flash and a bunch of crap that you cannot use in the street. The stuff is good, it's functional, it's usable in a, in a tournament setting. It's good for you to learn how to flow and body mechanics and how to move from left to right and how to have coordination. But you got to keep it real with yourself. How much of that stuff that I'm learning, I could actually, actually, actually get off under pressure outside in the street. I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to say it on the next video too. If you could do that, and it's so damn easy to do. How many MMA fights have you seen? Have you ever seen anybody do it? No way.
it, you heard it, you heard it, guys. That's what it is. Put you on that, guys. And while you're doing that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. To another level. I am here to officially announce that we are starting our online training. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Professor David James. I study with Professor Florendo Visitation. He's the grandmaster of the system. He passed away and gave the system to me. I made him a promise that I will get his information to everyone who wants his information. And with technology, I'm able to do that now. So for all you people who contact me, who wanted to trade with me directly, now is your time to do so. Because now we're getting started. I am teaching out of Professor V's book. Every single piece of information he gave me, I am giving you. And I'm holding nothing back. And I have information that people who trade with him don't have. So if you want this system, if you like what we do, if you want our information, get on board. Because I promise you, I, it is a wealth of information. And I am giving everything up. I'm not holding anything back. So now's your time to get it. So let's go. To another level.